<sighs> Lunar? Hi? Hey, sorry for coming in unannounced. I, uh, where's Lunar? Um, they're not here right now. They're not? No, he, he wanted some alone time. I strongly recommended against it given the circumstance that we're currently in, but he kind of just wanted his space and I don't want to push, so. Do you know where he is? Yes, I, why? I think he'd prefer his space right now. Cause he, an arm got broken and. What, uh, how did, uh, well, okay, D yeah. What? D how do you know that? The show? Oh yeah, I forgot that we do that. Yeah. I wonder how we're able to get away with it with the guidelines of YouTube, but whatever. That that was uploaded? I didn't know that was... That's kind of messed up. Was. I want to talk to your editor about that, but where's Luna right now? Um, they're at this field I suggested. I, you know, I used to, you know, when I was um, wandering for a while, there was this field I like to go to to just kind of lay down and relax and take my mind off of things. I recommended he go there since he loves looking at the stars so much that it, it has a good view of it, so... I'm gonna guess he told you to stay away for a bit. Yes, he said he would call me if anything happened or send distress to me. But if I'm honest, I'm, I'm feeling a little bad right now about the whole situation. It wasn't your fault. Well, there were so many things I could have done to help. I, I could have begged better, I guess. But no. that's kind of what they wanted. And no, also, no. I kind of tempered my security reaction so I didn't hurt Lunar. Earth, you... Didn't do anything wrong. You, that's the first time you've ever been in a situation like that, right? Yes, but I have programming for what to do if a child is held hostage and- Programming well, does a lot of things, Earth, but it's not going to help you make a decision just that, then and there. Yes, and all my programming was firing at once. At some point, I, I didn't even speak. I was just so rattled, I guess, and I didn't think that would ever happen to me. You're in shock. Well, I'm not supposed to go into shock. I'm supposed to help. I know. I'll have to be better next time. Don't start that. Believe me, it, it's a slippery slope. Sun is already in that position. You don't want to end up like him. Well, I mean, logically speaking, I, I will be better next time because now my system is knowing this outcome, this, you know, scenario. So if a situation happens again, I will know how to deal with it. Right. I'm going to go and just check on Lunar, I guess. Well, okay. If you want to talk to somebody, I think Monty is available. I don't know. Just Maybe. I kind of wish to... I don't wish to burden them, since I've been burdening them a lot lately. And I'll be honest, I've been a little more concerned for Lunar as of late. Just fair. Especially because he goes out at night, and sleeping all day, and barely eating. We, we don't need to eat. But he liked to eat. He liked eating cookies, and cakes, and ice cream. And now whenever I suggest that, he doesn't want any. He just wants to sleep, or no, go out and look concerning. at the stars. That's exactly why I'm concerned. I, I said I could make him whatever he wanted if he wanted an everything but the kitchen sink Sunday. I would give him an everything but the kitchen sink Sunday. I'd even serve it in a kitchen sink. Hmm. But he wasn't interested in that, so if you do talk to Lunar, could you just tell me how it goes and tell me what he says? If, you know, if he asks for you not to tell me, then Respect that, of course, but I just I'll worry him about safe. him. I'll keep him safe. Don't worry. I think I know what he's going through. Thank you. I appreciate your help. How do you thank me? Just... You know, I'm usually the one who helps handle these sorts of deals, and... Earth, well, have we ever talked about what you needed? What I need to do is make sure people are okay. And at this part, no. moment, I know Lunar isn't okay. Earth, I mean what you need. Well, I don't really need anything other than to get my new room. <laughs> Suppose I'll try to explain that to you in a bit. Okay. I won't keep you from Lunar, though. Just please keep me updated, and if anything happens, if that small little maniac approaches again, let me know, and I will race right over there, and I'll punch them myself. I, I did really go ham on them. I understand. But I did not unleash my full potential on them. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure Lunar was safe. That was my priority. I'm pretty sure they're a bit sturdier than not, but... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you again. Sorry for talking your ear off. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Okay. Lunar? Lunar? Lunar, is that you? Lunar? 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 Buddy? Lunar? Alright. Hello? 
Hi. You all right there, bud? Um. Yes. How did you... I was trying to get your attention for like a minute there. How did you get here? Uh, Earth pointed me in the direction where you were. Oh. Okay. I I wanted to check up on you. Really, just heard what happened, and you know. Right. The whole upload our lives without our knowledge. Right. Yeah. So you look all right. My arm got fixed. Am I okay? Your eyes not scratched and your fingers look fine. Mm hmm. I guess I wanted to see if you're all right. I mean, near death experience, right? Eh, near death, not death. Right. I've experienced that once before, so nothing new. Yeah. Maybe you wanted to have company or talk or something. I don't know. Just have an ear to scream into. I'm fine. Just looking at the stars. Out there, nothing hurt me. Mind if I sit with you? Go for it. You've told the other two, right? Sun and moon? Yeah. No. You probably should. I didn't think it was necessary. They're your brothers. Of course it's necessary. Sure, Earth told them. Well, I guess I didn't ask. I don't really want to talk about it. Would you want to talk about nearly dying? Again? <sighs> You'd be surprised by the, how many stories I have held up in my head. Did you nearly get killed after being awake for a month again? Well, there's situations are different. They don't have to be exact to for me to understand your trauma. I can't get a month. I couldn't get a month. Moon almost killed me after a week. He thought I was trying to keep sun under on purpose. It wasn't. I woke up and the second voice I heard was the person that killed me. Your voice. It wasn't me. I know that. But you sound like him and you look like him and I know you're not him but I bet you look at Moon with some minor amount of animosity. I know enough between dimensions to know that's not the same Moon. It's not the fact that he's a different Moon. It's the fact that he looks and sounds exactly like him. Yeah. At first I was. When I first met him, I thought it was the same Moon kind of tries stupid tactics. And I, when it was clarified, I couldn't get over it for a while. Lunar, I know this is hard for you. I know I'm not. You know I'm not him, and I know I'm not. But I, I, I can't convince you otherwise to make you feel better. That's just something you have to do yourself, unfortunately. And I just, no, I'm just concerned for your safety is all. just want to make sure you are safe right now. You don't have to talk to me. I just want to let you know that I'm here, in case you ever need it. <laughs> I think Monty would have said the same thing. I bet he would have. Your brothers too? Mm-hmm. But it's not what you want to hear right now, is it? Nope. I had my arms broken two days ago. If I was yeah. human, I'd still be recovering. It would have taken you maybe a month, or maybe more. Maybe I should have stayed in space. It wouldn't have done you any good. Nothing would find me there. Are you sure? Eclipse wanted me to stay dead for some reason. Blood Moon wouldn't have gotten to me if I was in space. There's a lot of things in space you don't understand, Lunar. A lot of horrifying things up there. It's called the Final Frontier for a reason. But I felt safe. I still feel drawn to it. I keep hearing voices. I think I should look at your systems at some point. Don't touch me. I'm not going to force you. It's just not a good thing to hear voices. I'm concerned, Lunar. Leave. I'm not going to leave you alone. Leave. But... Can I at least watch you over a hill? No. I'll be fine. If he didn't kill me then, he's not going to kill me now. Just let me be alone. Alright, Lunar. 
You know how to contact me in case you ever need it. Yes, All I right. know. I'm not a kid. I know. <sighs> Why do you keep calling to me? There's gotta be a reason. 